Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today and for the next few days, we'll discuss the notion of average. Average, you might wonder why the hell bother? It's a very simple concept. Of course, it's a very simple concept. But whenever a problem appears dealing with the notion of average, very, very rarely the, per the exam writer, the exam giver, actually expects you to either reach for the calculator and do it out on the calculator or add, the, add up the, all the numbers and divide by the number of numbers and see what the average is. Very rarely they actually expect you to do that. Very rarely they actually want you to do it manually. That is not the bloody point of the problem there. If you do it that way in the exam, you will end up spending too much time, you will end up taking an inordinate amount of time on a very simple question, a question that should take no more than a few seconds. So starting from today, for the next few days, we'll see how the problems dealing with average appear on, the, on, on any of these exams, whether you're preparing for ACT or SAT or TEs or GMAT or GRE, these questions appear on all of these, all of these exams. But, that's, but they're, not, they're not expecting you, they do not expect you, they do not want you to actually physically, manually do it out. They're looking for some intuitive understanding behind the concept. They're looking for some sort of an intimate understanding of the, of the problem. Let's do the first one. Enough of the talk. Let's do first problem. As we do more and more problem, you'll begin to see what I'm talking about. For example, here's the first problem. We are told that the average of three numbers, P, Q, and 8 is 4. What we're being asked to compare is column A, which is P plus Q over 4, versus column B, where we are given 3 quarter. This is a typical question that appears in the GRE. These are called quantitative comparison questions, where we're being asked to compare the two quantities. The fact that we do the fact that we have no way of knowing what P and Q are individually is not the point here. There is no way to figure out what P is. There is no way to figure out what the individual value of Q is. What we need to understand here is that we have three numbers, P, Q, and 8. P, Q, and 8. And we are told that their average is 4. Their average is 4. But if their average is 4, what number divided by 3? Because there are three numbers here, 1, 2, 3. What number divided by 3 is going to give us 4? The answer is 12. Of course, they have to add up to 12. These three numbers must add up to 12. One of them is 8. If one of them is 8, if we take away that 8, what we find is that P plus Q, P and Q that is, P and Q must add up to 4. P and Q must add up to 4. Here we have P plus Q which we just found out to be 4 over 4, this was a 4, 4 over 4 is 1, and 1 is greater than 3 quarter, the answer is 8. Let's do one more. The next problem, no matter how simple it may seem to you, I insist that you do it on your own because we are going someplace with it. Very simple, very straightforward problem, the answer is question is what is the what is the average of what is the average of what is the average of 15 17 19 21 and 23 Go ahead and do it out. I'll give you five seconds to pause the video. I insist that you do it on your own, do it out, and then when you have the answer, resume the video, and you and I will learn something together. I'll give you five seconds to pause it and pause the video. Well, what we need to understand here is that these numbers, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, these are all evenly spaced. There is one in between. The difference is always the one. 15 plus 1 is 17. 50, rather, uh, the difference is always the 2. 15 plus 2 is 17. 7 plus 2 is 19. 19 plus 2 is 21. They are all evenly spaced. If, if the numbers, if the numbers are evenly spaced, as Avi said, if the numbers are evenly spaced, as long as the numbers are evenly spaced, the average is 
simply the middle number. As long as they are evenly spaced, the average is always going to be just a middle number. We don't have to do anything here at all. The average is 19. We just have to visual inspection to tell you in a matter of two seconds that the average is 19. You don't have to waste your time adding up the five numbers and dividing by five. That was not the bloody point here. That was not the point of the question. And if you do it that way during the exam, you're simply wasting your precious seconds. Do you understand? One more time. As long as as long as as long as the average as long as rather as long as the numbers are evenly spaced as long as the numbers are evenly spaced the average is simply the middle number average here is 19 let's do one more let's do another question this time I'm going to give you different numbers this time I'm going to give you five more numbers a different one here we go 15, 17, 19, 21, and 24. Go ahead, do it out. Find the average of these five numbers. Go ahead. Again, the visual inspection should tell us that they are two apart. 15 plus 2 is 17, 17 plus 2 is 19, 19 plus 2 is 21, 21 plus 2 is 23. We don't have 23, we have 20, 24. Had this number been 23, had this number been 23, listen very carefully, had this number been 23, the average would have been 19, we just saw it a second ago. But it's not 23, it is 24, it's one more than what it needs to be. One more time, this number is one more than what it needs to be. So what do we do that extra one? Well, do distribute that one among the five people. Average, what you have to understand is, average is a very egalitarian concept. Average, let's put it down here because this is a very important concept that you should that you need to understand. Average is an an. I'm making too much fuss for a reason. Egalitarian concept. Everybody has to be equal when we're dealing with average. What we're asking is that what's the amount that makes everybody equal in the group. Well, this guy has one more dollar than he should actually have. Average would have been, average would have been 19. Average would have been 19 because this guy has two dollars more than 19. This guy has two dollars more than 19. We take the two dollars, give it to that guy. He becomes 19. Had this guy, had this guy been, had this guy been 23, had this guy been 23, that means he's four more than 19. He's four more than 19. We take the four dollars from him and give it to this guy, and now everybody's 19. Everybody's 19. 15 plus 4 is 19. 17 plus 2 is 19. This is 19. 21 minus 2 is 19. 20, 20, 23 minus 4 is 19. The problem here is that we don't have 15, 17, 19, 21, and 23. What we have here is 15, 17, 19, 21 and 24. Well, don't make too much fuss about it. Take that extra one dollar that's causing the problem and distribute it evenly among the number of people, which tells us that the new average is simply going to be the old average, old average that we had, which was 19, which was 19, plus a fifth. Because you have to distribute that extra one dollar among five people. That's all we're done. The average is simply 19 and a fifth, 19.2. The average of these five numbers is simply 19.2. Let's do one more. Remember, average is an egalitarian concept. Egalitarian means everybody has to be equal. Egalitarian is a word that we lo learned a long time ago in our vocabulary lesson on day number 30. If you're interested in improving your vocabulary, just type in that, uh, that tag. If it doesn't matter which exam you're preparing for. Just for example, ACT vocabulary word day 30 or GRE vocabulary words day 30, whatever you're preparing for, or SAT vocabulary words day 30, type in anything you like, any test that you're preparing, preparing for and just type in vocabulary words and then day number. The video will pop right up, watch that video and learn the word. Egalitarian. Average is an egalitarian concept, which means, average means we're looking for a magic number, which means, which makes everybody equal. That's what an average means. An average of a group of number is a number, is a magic number, which makes everyone equal. For example, here, let's do one more. How about, uh, how about this one? 
5, 8, 11, 14, and 17. Again, what do you notice? What we notice here is that they are all evenly spaced. 3 apart, 5, 8, 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, 11 plus 3 is 14, 14 plus 3 is 17. Since they are evenly spaced, as long as numbers are evenly spaced, did I spell evenly correctly? Even. Yes. As long as the numbers are evenly spaced, the average is simply the middle number. That's it. The average is this guy right here. The average of these five numbers is 11. We don't actually have to do anything. Let's do one more problem. I want you to find the average of 5, 8, 11, 14, and 20. Well, if we had a 17 here, they would have been evenly spaced. If we had a 17 here, they would have been even evenly spaced. In that case, the average would have been 11. We just saw that a second ago. This is not 17. This is 3 more than 17. Don't make a fuss about it. Just take the 3 extra dollars. Just take the average would have been 11. Just take the 3 extra dollars and distribute among the 5 people. That's it. The average is 11 and 3 fifths. The average is 11 and 3 fifths. The average is 11.6. Let's do one more. Let's do one more, shall we? What's the average of? What's the average of? 20, 25, 30, and 35. Now here we have a slight problem. So the slight problem is that, the slight problem is that, we do not have odd number of numbers. We have even number of numbers. Oh, by the way, when they are evenly spaced, when they are evenly spaced, the average is simply the middle number, which is also the which is also the median. So when they are evenly spaced, average is same as the median. Let's make a note here. When they are when they are evenly spaced, average is same as the median because Median is what we call the middle number. Middle number is a number that happens to be right in the middle when the numbers are arranged in order. Well, if you arrange them in order and if it turns out that they are in fact evenly spaced, the difference is always the constant number. They, when they are different, by, when they differ by the same exact constant number, when they are evenly spaced, then the one that appears in the middle, which is the median, will also be the average. Because the one on the, the numbers to the left of it will negate all the numbers to the right of it as long as we have odd number of numbers. Here we do not have odd number of numbers, we have even number of numbers. We only have four numbers, 20, 25, 30, and 35. We only have four numbers here. And the concept does not change. We are still looking for the number that falls smack in the middle, right in the middle. Well, the number that fills right in the four is going to fall right in the middle so that we have two on this side and two on that side because we have four numbers. We need two, two numbers to be on the left-hand side, two on the right-hand side. What falls right in the middle? What falls right in the middle is the, is the average of these two numbers. 25 and 30, they are 5 apart, which means this is go 2.5 from here or go 2.5 from here, which means the average is 27.5. The average is 27.5. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. A new question. How about the average of how about the average of 20, 25, 30, and 38? You do it yourself. Now we just saw that had it been 20, we just saw that had it been 20, 25, 30, and 35, in that case we found out that the average was 27 and a half. We don't have 35, we have 38. 38, 38 is 3 more than 35, is 3 more. Those extra $3 needs to be distributed among 5 people, therefore, among 4 people rather. Therefore the new average is going to be the same as the old average, which is 27 and a half, plus the 3 extra dollars you take here and distribute it evenly among the four people. One, two, three, four. That's it. That's your new average. The new average is going to be 27 and a half and a three quarter. 27 and a half and a three quarter. Three quarter. Where did three quarter come from? We took the extra three dollars and we distributed it among, three, among four people. One, two, three, four. That three dollars extra from 35 is distributed among four people. Therefore, it's three quarter. Now what we're going to do now, we can't leave it like this. None of the answer choices are going to look like that, obviously. We can't leave it like that. What we're going to do now is we're going to write our three-quarter. We're going to write the three-quarter as one-half plus a quarter. That's our three-quarter. Now we have one-half here, we have one-half here. One-half plus one-half is one. 
plus 27, so we end up with 28 and a quarter. In the exam, the answer choice, of course, is going to be laid out like this, 28.25. But they don't expect you to actually add them up manually. That wasn't the point. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.